Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You come home one day and your parents ask you to go and clean your room, or they go and ask you to tidy up the shoe rack, or they ask you to do something that's just one thing. And when you've done that, they say to you that now that you've finished your chore, you've finished your job, you can have a thousand rewards, a thousand presents or gifts just for that one action. You go to school maybe, or you go somewhere else, or someone asks you to do just a simple thing, pick up the litter or the rubbish from the ground, or do something else, help someone carry their shopping, a very small deed, and in return you get a thousand different rewards, a thousand different prizes. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us in this month of Ramadan. And that's because today's power word is the word Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr is a night that takes place in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala names a whole surah in the Quran after this night. And Allah azza wa jal says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Inna anzalnahu fi Laylatul Qadr, wa ma adraka ma Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr khayrun min alf shahr. Allah says that he revealed the Quran on Laylatul Qadr. And then Allah asks us, do you know what Laylatul Qadr is? Laylatul Qadr is better than a thousand months. A thousand months equals more than 80 years. And what Allah Azza wa Jal is telling us that if we worship him on this one night, just one night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us not just a thousand times the reward, a thousand good deeds, he will give us a thousand months of good deeds, like 80 years of good deeds. That's like how old our grandparents are, our grandfather, our grandmother. That's how old they are, nearly. So that's how much Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give to us from a single night. It is an amazing night. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, when these last 10 nights of Ramadan would come, he would spend the whole night awake. He wouldn't sleep. And he would do even more worship. He could recite as much Quran and pray as much as he could and do as many good deeds that he could fit in within that night because he wanted to reach Laylatul Qadr. And the scholars tell us that Laylatul Qadr is more likely to be on the odd nights, the 21st night or the 23rd night or the 25th night or the 27th night or the 29th night of Ramadan. And if, you're, if you can, if it's easy for you, you should try to stay up at least on one of those nights. So maybe you have school and it's difficult for you to stay up on all of those nights, but maybe one of them will be a Friday night or a Saturday night, a weekend, and you can spend that night awake. You can plan what the du'as what, what du'as you want to make during that night write them down have like a snack meal have a have a plan for that night that you can spend read some quran make some du'as make some dhikr do different things offer some prayers and all of this because this night is so amazing and if you can do just this one night it is amazing in its reward it gives you a thousand months of good deeds just from that single night we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he allows us to see later and that he makes us from amongst the people